Well, let's get down to it. First off, I know that assassination is dark business. But sometimes, good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide, act in shadow, take them apart, piece by piece. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal, because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Another thing. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us, and if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here at the Hound Pits. Glad to see you got your rest, Corvo. You'll need it. A moment. Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison, and I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. She, she is Callista Kernow. She, she has learned, learned to defend, defend herself in this treacherous city. She and her uncle, the last of the Kernow family. She dreams of freedom, and then the decks of the whaling ships fast after the beasts of the sea. But alas... I overheard the Admiral at breakfast, talking about the Overseers. That's all I heard. And I think it's better if I don't know too much about what you people are doing. Such sadness. She is Callista Kernow. She has learned to defend herself in this treacherous city. He's my uncle and he moves to watch city. His name is Jeff Kernow. Captain Jeff Kernow. Does part of the soul live in the heart? You traveled with my uncle briefly, didn't you? If the heart keeps doing something for that means that the spirit is never released into oblivion. I can keep a heart beating forever with electricity, but what does that mean for any essence trapped within? It'd be easier if you created these processes in waking hours. I am uneasy pursuing avenues that emanate from my dreaming mind. What can I do for you?
Elementary sums. History of the Isles. Geography of... Isles. The Seven Strictures. Litany of the White Cliff. Sayings of the Overseer. One day we'll get a few new books. The conspirators have found a safe home here. They take great care that they are not followed. The alien is sweetened with honey to hide the taste of the river brine. The sober speaking whispers, the drunk bellow. Fortunes have been won here, and lives have been lost. The old man claimed a dark corner and drank himself into oblivion. The hounds were the first to find him. Each and every night, the black-eyed outsider visits upon Piero's dreams. He is Piero Joplin. Even now, he visualizes the next invention. Astonishing. I wish you could see it, too. Poor Piero. His elixirs have cured so much for so many, but they cannot cure his brain fevers. The youngest ever to pass through the Academy of Natural Sciences. So the law will never forgive him that. He has spied upon Callista as she bathes, more than once. Each and every night, the black-eyed outsider visits upon Piero's dreams. They are burning whales. Samuel Beechworth went to sea to forget a hopeless love. He succeeded. The boatman has a good heart and respects you. Somewhere in the basements below, hound kills hound and money changes hands. Samuel is a simple man, but he knows the river Redhaven and all its tributaries down to the smallest inlet. He has many scars, some from the phlegm of the river crusts, some from the nameless monsters of the deep ocean. Samuel was once eager to hear Havelock's stories of the sea, but perhaps the Admiral is not what he expected. Such laughter, and then they're singing the old songs, linking arms, but that was from a happier time. Samuel Beechworth went to sea to forget a hopeless love. He succeeded. Ready to go? Just give the signal. 